I absolutely love thrift shopping and it, to be honest I kind of have to in my small town because we have zero high street clothes shops. It is all just charity shops or kind of independent shops. So charity shopping is a big part of the culture here and oh my god I love a bargain what can I say? So I have been accumulating a few little thrifted goodies for this video today. I have some things from my local high street in the charity shops there and I also have been on Depop and you know doing a little bit of digging. I also have some beef okay which I will share with you at the end but just before we do jump into the video if you have not already like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I have done a tutorial on this makeup look. It's the like mob boss shorts that is either live on my channel now or will be going live very very soon so stick around for that. And yeah I want to do more clothing things. I have had a little bit of a goal this year and that is to wear more colour and I know the top that I'm wearing right now does not really show that but I have been trying to get more into colour and these charity shop clothes will hopefully let me do that. So without further ado let me jump in to my little thrift haul. Okay I'll start with the things that I got online I think. So Depop is my new best friend, it's my new addiction. I absolutely adore it, like it's actually a little bit bad. I spend way too much money on there. You know what, I'll share the beef now, okay? I have bought a pair of red trousers, okay? They are beautiful. I absolutely love them so much. They're high-waisted red cotton trousers with like the buttons going like up the waist. I paid for them like two weeks ago and the seller has not messaged me back, nothing. I've heard it, crickets, literally. And so I've had to open a dispute with Depop and all that kind of stuff. So when you do thrift online, there are dangers. I have met one and I'm struggling to get my money back, basically. Um, Depop does have this like insurance thing, but yada, yada, yada. Basically, be careful online. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so there's gonna be a theme in this video. My favorite brand ever is Quiz. I love Quiz clothing so much. And there's a lot of Quiz here because I literally just typed in on Depop Quiz and this is what I got. So the first thing, it doesn't really match my color goal, but I just love it. Look at this. Look how cute this is. Let me find the price. I'm so unorganized. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this beautiful top was £2.85 plus shipping. £2.85. £2.85. What? Absolutely beautiful. Love it so much. It's got this zip up back and something that I've noticed, and you'll probably notice a theme as well, I love buying summer clothes. Even though it's the dead of winter right now and I'm freezing my little bum off, I love buying summer clothes. I can't help myself. I just don't like winter clothes. I don't like how they look. I don't like how they feel. So all of these are kind of in reserve right now for at least four months until it gets a little bit warmer here in England. But even then, it is still gonna be absolutely freezing in England in summer. So I need a holiday, basically is what I'm saying. And I need to book myself a holiday so I can wear these clothes. But this is so cute. I was kind of worried with tops like this. I, I know it doesn't look like it, guys, but we need to chat. I'm a big booby girl, okay? I hide them very, very well because they are quite flat, but they are you know? So I was worried that this would not fit. However, it does. And I am going to cut away to some little try-ons. So here you go. Okay, I was going to try and get a better angle, but as you can see, there's a very sleepy boy here today and I, I just can't disturb him. <laughs> but this is the first top, okay? How cute is this? For like two pounds, what was it? Two pound eighty-five? Sign me up. It fits really, really well. The like booby issue is fine. There's a little bit of gapping here, but like, I think that's just me being a bit pedantic, to be honest. <laughs> this is very much my style. I feel very comfortable in it. It's not too short. I was kind of dreading it being like here, but it's not, it's, it's, it's long enough, you know? The zip on the back, absolutely brilliant. 10 out of 10, can you see that? Yeah fits amazingly. Two pound, two pound something. We love. The material's really nice as well. It's like 
a cotton, but it's also double lined, which is nice. It doesn't provide much more heat because I'm still freezing my boobs off, but I'm really happy with this one. Okay, next, sticking with the quiz theme, sticking with the summer theme, sticking with the kind of top style theme. These were from separate sellers. Boom, look at this, how cute is this? I absolutely love it. So this was five pound free shipping. Can't moan at that, can you? This doesn't have a zip on the back, but it is more kind of elasticy, and this print is so cute. This print is so cute. I did see that it was part of a two set, but I only got the top. I actually didn't even see the bottoms until it was too late. This is beautiful. I love, I love the print. I'm not a pink girl. I'm really not. You guys know this. Pink eyeshadow, mm, not for me. Pink clothes, definitely not for me. But I thought this is so cute and it goes with my little color theme, my little color aspiration. It's not color in your face, five pounds for quiz as well. <laughs> Look at it, it is so gosh darn cute. Again, cannot wear this for at least three months, but I love it and that's the main thing. Okay, next is this one, the kind of leaf printy kind of one. I feel a bit more booby in this, I'm not gonna lie. I feel, you know. <laughs> But I like it, it doesn't have the same zip as the other one, it is just like a more stretchy material. It's definitely a thicker material and it is also double lined, yeah, it is also double lined. Again, really good for summer, not great right now for winter, so this whole buying summer clothes in winter trend, it's not the most practical, but I like it. Skip a few months, I'll be thanking me right now. Trust me, okay? Are you, he's still sleeping. He's still a sleepy boy. <laughs> okay, next. This might be the actual steal of the century. Again, this is quiz. Okay, I promise I'm not affiliated with quiz. I just really like quiz clothes. I think this is the last quiz product, so bear with. This top, okay, is £2.50. Bright yellow, look at this. Okay, it's one of those tie tops. Again, I'll show you in the, the, close up, I don't know, full body moment. And the sleeves are like flared. Oh my God. You guys know I'm obsessed with like renaissance -y style sleeves. These aren't like renaissance -y. Um, They're definitely, I don't know, more of, I don't know how to describe. I'm not clothes girly, okay. But look at these sleeves, so beautiful. A tie up, bright ass yellow. I've been told that I look really good in yellow. And to be honest, I was told that like five years ago. But if you give me a compliment, I will remember it for the rest of my life and I will base my personality on it. So because of that, I went out in search of a yellow top. I think this is so cute. Again, very summery. I'm not gonna be able to wear this. For £2.50, come on, come on. <laughs> Okay, so now we're moving on to the things that I actually bought on my local high street. This is my color. This is a very autumnal color. I went out specifically in search of like a glam dress or jumpsuit because my boyfriend has booked us a bit of a fancy meal, okay? I have nothing to wear. You know, the age old saying, no one has anything to wear, me included. So I went out and I found this. Now I'm not sure how I feel about this, okay? I need your guys' opinion. The top, stunning, absolutely beautiful. It's got this like wire insert at the like boobage area. And then it's a jumpsuit. So the, the legs go all the way down. You'll see properly later on in the full body shots. I thought that these legs were gonna be a lot wider than they are. They're very thin legs. So I'm not sure how I feel about it, but this was four pounds on the sale rail. How can I let that go for four pounds? The dressing rooms were closed, so it was a little bit like, mm, but it was four pounds. I was like, you know what? I I can't let it go for four pounds. I, I just, I, I can't. I can't. And the color is just a bit of me, to be honest. I love this color so much. Okay, I really don't know how I feel about this piece. Which way am I talking? This way, okay. Sorry, had to sort that out. The top, I love. This whole like wired thing, so I'm not falling out. Brill. The, the bottoms, however, they're very tight-legged. 
And I'm not sure if I like that. I am wearing my jeans underneath, so please ignore this, but it's cold, guys. It's really cold. Give me this. I don't think I like how tight the trousers are, but I have quite a few like suit trousers or like nice trousers that are quite wide legged and quite baggy. So if I wear those over this and just have this top, that would be amazing. Or because I am getting a little bit skilled in a sewing machine, there is a hem here. It's just above my jean line. Um, if I could unpluck this hem and then add seams to the top and the bottoms, I think that would be really, really good. So then I can have a separate top and a separate bottoms because I like the top and the bottoms separately, but together, I really don't think I like it. I was just expecting the legs to be a bit more flowy and a bit more free. I just feel like it's very suit trouser kind of vibes, you know? I don't really like that. But if these trousers were with like a white shirt or something like that, I think that'd be really, really cute. And I think if this top was with, I don't know, even just jeans, I think that would be amazing. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut them in half and make two pieces out of this hole. But honestly, I can't complain. It was like four pounds and a little bit of like DIY. For four pounds, I am more than happy to do that. Yeah, what do you think? Would you do the same? Is it just me? The legs just seem a bit, I, ooh, I don't know. Oh, the dog's there. I don't want a buddy fall on him. Sorry, babe. I didn't fall on him, just so you know. Okay, let's move on to the final item. So finally, this is very different. Okay, this is, um, a work in progress. Some of you may know that I do sew and I try and make my own clothes. I was thinking of doing like a 12 hour sewing challenge or like a 24 hour sewing challenge, though that would be a lot. And I'm not sure if I'm prepared to do that, but definitely a 12 maybe. And this is a work in progress. This is size 20, okay? For context, I'm size six, drowns me. So this is not a finished product. However, I do have a plan for this. And this is a really nice, a very big, let me say, um, <laughs> jumper. You can see here, it's pretty cute. I know it's kind of Christmassy and festive and we're like well away from that period right now. However, my plan for this, is pretty damn good. Okay, I'll talk you through when I try it on. Now, you may be shocked when I try it on. Yes, it's big on me. Yes, I know, but just wait to hear this amazing plan that I have and you'll be shocked. Is it a dress or is it a jumper? Um, who knows? I do have my jumpsuit still on. It's not a vibe. I look like a Christmas elf right now, I know. I would never wear these trousers with this jumper, but you know what? You can barely see it, it's fine. I'll just squat a little bit. So this is the jumper, okay? I need you to look at the wider picture here, okay? I have a vision, I really do. This is my vision. Call me Van Gogh, but I uh, drew, you know? I drew the plan here, step by step. I was gonna do a like thrifty Thursday kind of thing on my channel where I go out thrift shopping buy something that is like not a finished product and then revamp it. But honestly, with this second job that I've just got, it's a lot of time and effort. So um, I I'm gonna still think about it, but I really don't know. But you can see here, I'm gonna cut off about maybe here on this black line, not to crop it, but just to make it not a dress. I'm gonna take the sleeves in, take it in, cinch it in so it actually fits me. As I said, this is a size 20, which I think is small. This is small for a size 20. I feel like I could just get away with this and I'm a size six, like I said, so, okay. Then I'm gonna take the material that I cut off the bottom and make it into, what is it, like a cow, no, it's not a cow neck, it's a, I don't know, the big turtleneck, like, ruffle thing. You can see on the diagram, it's fine. And then I'm gonna cut cold shoulders out of the sleeves, which I don't know how to do any of this on like oh, a knitted material. We can live in hope, you know? This is my vision. What do you think? Do you think it would be an easy thing? Because I always think, oh, that's gonna be really, really easy. And then it's just not. So I don't know, let me know. <laughs> Hello, do you have anything to say? No. He's been such a good boy. You've been a good boy. I love you. So here it is. These are my clothes that I bought recently. I know people do thrift hauls that are like 
20, 30 items big, but I strapped for cash right now, guys. I've not started my new job yet, so bear with. Even charity shop's a bit spenny for me right now. I don't know, I don't normally do clothing hauls or anything really to do with clothing, but if you wanna see more, then I don't know, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you like this video, if you have any more clothing ideas because I would love it to hear them. I really do love charity shopping. I think it is a really good way of A, giving back to the community and also getting some absolute freaking deals. Let me tell you that for free. It's definitely been like ingrained into my subconscious to just go into charity shops before normal shops. But I've noticed whenever I go into like a normal clothes shop and I see like a t-shirt for 20 pound, I'm like, whoa, because <laughs> I'm so used to the charity shop prices. And that's why I love Depop. I love thrifting. Get on Depop if you're looking for a little bit of a spruce up. I would 100% recommend it. But again, be careful who you shop off because I'm a little bit worried about my red trousers. <laughs> They're so nice as well. I really want them, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, you know what to do. Like and subscribe because it will mean the world to me. Have an absolutely incredible day and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye.